Hi guys, Heavy Beber here. Welcome to this first round match on the top 2 Crescent Cup. Uh, this is uh, Flying Jaguars vs Yup Wright. So we have uh, an opposite start again. Uh, we have Jaguar in the blue with uh, Flying Modern Rockets in the red against Intravicious in the green and Kailka in the yellow. So Unlike yesterday, uh, players that built uh, their button center where they, they spawned and didn't walk to the center of the map. So they start to gather resources uh, instantly. Uh, I see two hunters, two woodcutters and one on clay for, for Jaguar. And playing with the Lucas is sending all two food, which is a little bit more common. And I uh, probably will later have a, a better economy. A uh, green player also on food, so two on bushes, already one farm. And yellow is now building his first farm. Uh, there has a lot of food cutters also. Uh, I kind of question the placement of the village center because it's very far from the farms and for the, uh, the fertile land and the marshland. So you will have a long walk time with the farms and also with the um, clay pits. Uh, but for the players, the placement looks very promising. See, with the, this, uh, this villager, we'll have only a few blocks to walk to do uh, the clay in the village center, so we'll gather the clay much faster. So we have uh, another farm. It looks like uh, both player, uh, I mean four players, like the the farm. So all player, but red really likes farms, uh, and I think it's a um, little bit stronger to to go with a low farm because it allows you to spend your resources for other things, like for instance the uh, archery range. Uh, whereas uh, the other have to spend wood, so gather wood and spend the wood to get the food. Uh, Trade can just gather food, which is standing here for free. So, so you see, the food count is uh, a bit higher for for red player. And, uh, and as both players over 50, they and it looks like green and yellow are blocked. Yeah, so neither built a house, so they are uh, house blocked for for a while. First, yellow and green, still no house. It's, it looks a bit dire for, for green. Um, blue is just chilling again. Okay? It's just uh, building farms, which, uh, which is, uh, I think uh, blue will have a very, very good economy. And I wonder what tech, what, uh, tech he will go for. Probably blue, though, because he has a lot of uh, farms already. Uh, but red should go for um, woodworking, I think. As you see, he has uh, three on wood, probably two more here. So with woodworking, it's a 60% efficiency, so it, it's about uh, three villagers worth of uh, tech. Uh, still no house for green. So we now see a, a very big difference in villagers. And uh, on yellow, it uh, will maybe get blocked at 16 again. But uh, due to the long uh, walk time, uh, the resources are going very slowly. So that's why it's so behind in, uh, in everything. So first slingers are coming for red player, so let's see where, where she decides to, to send it. And blue also producing slingers, so kind of like uh, we saw yesterday with uh, drunk slingers, they are going for double slingers and we'll try to 
to poke the opponents. Uh, I see one villager on middle, which is very, very, very far from the <laughs> from the base. So I'm puzzled about what's going on. He's sending another one. To oh, he's building the resources. Yeah. We'll have to see what they, what they want. Okay, and green also goes on metal. Um, I don't really see the use that they will have for the metal because metal are used for equipments, but it's kind of pointless to buy equipments if you don't have military. So usually you go heavier on food and build military before buying equipments and going to, to metals. So we see for red player already four, five singles. So it's enough to do some damage on a very good forward corner because uh, uh, they will they will gather so the pushes here and probably uh, the balls on the balls here also. So yeah, very good, uh, good, good army. So red is, set, is setting up for a very strong economy and we'll start building the farms because. Uh, because of the, the surplus of food. I think a good player has a, has a really good build up. Whereas blue, so he's a little bit later on everything, so you see it's, it's lagging uh, 3 villagers behind, so 3 pop behind. Uh, but now has tons of farms, so the economy that, uh, that they have now is very strong. So they have double ecotech. For red, it's uh, woodworking and masons. Hmm. Masons is a bit um, new, or at least uh, different that, uh, of what we were seeing uh, usually. A better reasons to increase Gazo's build speed, so it's idle time, and also as uh, the next clay pit will go uh, very fast. So, and that's probably why the first clay pit is already. Uh, Already all gazons because of masons. Uh, for yellow, so yes, we have plow to get a better farm speed, and they have done it on militia is now kicking. And for green, we have uh, plow on road cutting. So, so okay. So they all decided to to go full echo, which is uh, and the the base of the game is uh, slow, so that makes sense to go full echo. Another barracks from green, uh, which is probably the better choice, as uh, both both of blue and red as a uh, as slingers. So barracks will allow to will allow green to go for light axes, which which will counter the the slingers. And now it would be a good time for both blue and red to go for for some metal to to buy the upgrade the plus one attack for the slingers. And if blue sees the villagers, yeah, he will pick up the villagers. And also, I think the first the next take will go for for the, the elite slingers. At least should go for the elite slingers. And red is still inactive with the blue slingers, which is a bit of a shame because if they group up, they do a lot of damage to yellow's base. Both players are uh, to, uh, okay, triple eco tech for, for red because uh, they're starting to, to building farm, so, so that makes sense or so. Um, and yeah, with, uh, with this clay pit, uh, red will have enough. Uh, resources to go palace, and I see also metal here, so the furnace shouldn't be too far from now. Oh yeah, blue is now poking yellow's base, and uh, also yeah, as um, the farms are so far from the village center, you see those farm here uh, are protected by the militia, but those are not. So. Yellow tech in militia, but cannot really use the technology, which is a bit of a shame. Not reacting to his slingers getting killed, but he sniped a farm, which is decent, but uh, losing that many slingers will cost a bit. But uh, yellow is, is uh, idling all his economy, so overall, I think it's still a um, decent trade for blue. 
lots, lots, lots of food because of all the boars, I think. And I didn't get those boars. But the food comes from. Oh yeah, they don't have uh, any woodcutter left. So they have tons of food. Uh, yeah, they should go build a palace uh, really, really soon. So maybe send more. Uh, yeah, I see. You see, uh, seven on clay. So clay will go super fast, and uh, they will build a palace. Surely, most likely at least. So nice defense from yellow. So he lost the farm, but killed five slingers. And now blue. Okay, blue already has the palace. That's why yeah, the food court went a, a bit back. And now he's building. Um, Javelins. So does that make sense? Uh, so that's why they didn't take in Edith Slingers and just take in uh, Edith Javelins for us. Um, Blue is not on metal yet, but uh, I think they should start with the. You see. Blue is on metal now uh, and will buy the equipment for the Slingers. And yeah, red is still on. So I can see at least 15 slingers, I think. Yeah, and now the, the metal count is pretty high. And with a, f a bit more wood, they should have enough to, to build the palace. So that's why he sends uh, everything to wood. Uh, so now green has light axes with the furnace. Uh, and has lots of uh, metal, but doesn't have that much food to recruit more light axes. And yellow has still no military, he has uh, archery range and could recruit some slingers probably. But maybe he's saving resources for the. Um, yeah, but you see, he has uh, 175 on only 2 on clay, so it will take uh, at least 2 trips. How oh, did you land the ten clay? Oh, maybe I didn't see something. Maybe I didn't see the villager with clay. Yeah. Oh, I, d I don't understand how the clay goes up. Yeah, he has he has more clay than I than I can have. It's pretty hard to see which villager is is causing what. So yes, yeah, this one will drop up the clay, and now he has enough for, for the palace. Yeah, that makes sense. But now tons of javelins are coming, and uh, I'm kind of worried for for yellow now. Uh, I don't see. Yeah, okay. I was about. To say I don't see any equipment, but now the the plus one attack for the chap is here. You can see the the bronze spears. And yellow is fighting back with uh, all villagers, but uh, it's a super good trade for, for blue. He could micro it a bit uh, to get it out of the range of uh, of militia, but uh, it's a really really good trade for for blue. I think he picked up uh, at least seven or eight villagers. And uh, if red comes in right now, yeah, he could snipe the palace with the slingers. If he sees it, it's uh, very strong. Because ye yellow is not constricting space anymore. Yeah, okay, he's not constricting. It. Okay, so red is a bit um, more careful with the military, so he's not trading uh, right away. He's just slowly building towers, which is um, a safer approach for sure. But uh, that's a bit of shame that they didn't uh, sync up uh, their attacks. Could have uh, could have done a lot more damage. And now blue is producing more javelins, but blue is struggling a bit for wood, I'd say. And now as uh, the furnace. Yeah, so now taking in old equipment, you can see the bronze melting. So we have the... I said bronze helmets and bronze spears, it was copper helmet and copper spears. And now he's researching for the, the shields, and we'll then go for bronze helmets and bronze Spears. Uh, green, green is now uh, building the palace. He has tons of clay. Uh, that's something we really, really want to avoid uh, having clay because it's pretty hard to spend the clay on 
unuseful things. You see, like, yeah, already has the palace, the furnace, and the, the the barracks, the furnace, and now the palace. So to spend uh, another 800 clay, it will be pretty hard. Uh, I see uh, at least again seven clay diggers. So, so yeah, that those seven 900 clay could be 900 food, and that would be a lot more useful, I think. But okay, he can he can buy equipments. So I think I see Cooper axes. Yeah, Cooper axes. Um, but it doesn't have the defense yet. And now uh, Red is also producing his own giant throwers. Um, I see Red detecting militia. Uh, I kind of question this decision because usually you you want militia to help you defend, as you can, uh, as you could see earlier. Uh, all the militia villagers uh, fought pretty well, pretty decent against militia, militia uh, military units. Whereas uh, Red is absolutely not under pressure, so he, I don't think uh, Red needs uh, extra defense. And uh, maybe with those three tech points, he could uh, he could go for bronze smelting now, and, and maybe uh, buy his equipments when uh, when they feel like it. Uh, blue now now has uh, bronze helmets and so I see also the shield I believe. No. Okay. He cancelled the, the shields because I think they got a, a bit more food. Um, but it should be researched uh, right after the, the bronze spears. And I wouldn't be surprised to, to see them attack again the yellow player. Three stringer for um, yellow. Yeah. You can see the population count, it's a 120 uh, versus 70, so it's a huge, huge lead for, for the flying jaguars. And uh, you prides are uh, in big troubles. So yeah, now the, the, the second equipment for the, stinger, the um, javelin throwers are kicked in. Just going straight for the base, and I think yellow uh, might die on this attack. Uh, even more if red joins with all this military. Slingers react. One slinger sniped. Okay, I, I will try to count the village of this. So it's on already one slingers here. One, two, three, four. Okay. Yeah, no, I think it's a it's a wipe for. Yeah, yellow just loses everything. This push. Yeah, Sling, um, Javin throwers are, are really good units, and uh, with all equipments, they do tons of damage and barely take any. Because they, are, they have extra uh, ranged armor, so if uh, you see when villagers attack, they are. Three villagers attacking one slinger, one javelin thrower, and they take two damage per hit, so they can take six hits before die, before dying. Okay, so yeah, yellow is now losing uh, everything, and uh, on blue is also attacking the green player, so that's uh, very smart. But I'm not sure that uh, they will do that that many damage. And red, red is now joining his, uh, his ally in green space. Okay, maybe a red player initiated this attack. Yeah, so it's now pretty much a wipe for for blue. Everything that will come will die, and blue might just uh, snipe the village hunter. Maybe could have could add some some siege to to help him. And let's see how it goes here. You see those those few sling um javelin throwers are really really with all the equipments. Uh and red player doesn't have that much uh, that, uh it doesn't have any equipments to be fair. So um, so you might just see as uh, the difference that it makes in this game. Still binning towers kind of everywhere, protecting the, the army. Oh, okay, so now he has a uh, couple helmets. Mm. 
words uh, way more than I, than I expected. I expected uh, yellow to be a little bit, um, uh, I would say, a little bit early on the. A little bit, uh, yeah, a little bit earlier on the military and all, but uh, with the attack of, of blue player, uh, green was left alone and uh, had a really, I say, smooth transition to palace. So, so yeah, it could uh, it could secure his economy. Uh, for sure, base is a way safer with, because you see, all the farms are protected by militias. So whenever they want to have, is under attack, just can can fight back. Sappers are coming to all to help the siege. So no sappers here because they don't really need. But uh, but for for here, a few sappers. Um, sniping the first, uh, doesn't make that much of a difference, but I don't think they have much more to do. And repairing the tower for with um, with the villagers. So. <laughs> You see, uh, with all the extra armor that he has, uh, and all as um, the rocks that we just sent are spread amongst uh, all Jones Royal, with the uh, five villagers, he cannot kill anything. And then now, uh, Blue is sniping farms with the staffers, which is pretty interesting. And yeah, and green is now fighting with everything. It looks like uh, the the hail mary, you know, like the trying to fight back with everything. Yes, but uh, I don't think he, he will he can survive the assault. So yeah, overall, it's a pretty good game from uh, from the flying jaguars. Um, it's, it, it really looks like uh, they trained the, the strategy. A uh, few units only to, to start being uh, aggressive and poke their opponents. And then transition to palace, build uh, tons of javelins and, uh, and harass uh, everything. And uh, you can see that uh, blue is a little bit more aggressive and more. Um, I'd say um, confident with um, with military, whereas uh, red is a, a more reserved player, uh, building towers, making sure his military is not in the, is in no danger. Uh, so yeah, I think uh, they, they they are a really good uh, team. Uh, at least they have a good synergy, and um, I'm really hopeful to see uh, to see uh, how far they they can go. Uh, thank you all for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.